nationwide training aimed at boosting the skills of business development services providers, termed as growth enablers, was meticulously developed in collaboration with a technical working group of ecosystem actors in 2022. This initiative, in partnership with MasterCard Foundation, tackles current limitations in availability of specialized and high-quality business development services providers. How best we can uh, get the standards for the BDS or business uh, development service providers. So, um, of course, there, are, as you all know, there are a number of uh, uh, business service provider, uh, business development service providers in the country, but uh, there are actually no actual standards that we are following. So, what are the uh, uh, African Management Institute, together with PSFU, are doing is uh, try to try and um, get us uh, to have uh, some form of some sort of regulation whereby we have standards that we are following. So, in-depth interviews with participants revealed that the training played a pivotal role in enabling these providers to assess themselves against the newly established standards. Important because it has helped us uh, review our company, Avicare Health Uganda Limited, and know if we are really adhering to the quality standards of business development, but as well as uh, helping us understand our weaknesses and our strengths helping us come up with these standards as business service providers. Uh, it's going to um, help regulate the, 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 the different uh, consultants or the different uh, uh, service providers out there, business service providers out there, to be able to uh, offer the right services or to be able to take the different uh, uh, beneficiaries through the right paths and, the right, uh, and, and, and help them to grow their businesses or to scale their businesses to the next level without necessarily compromising the job that they are operating in or the market that they are operating in. Uh, my name is Donna Sava and I'm um, uh, Programs and Projects Lead at Hive Collab. I also run uh, a business consultancy firm. Thank you. Thank you. Prove that there is a huge need from people and a big gap. So we intend to actually continue uh, to go forward and do more cohorts of this because we need to enough people in the private sector understanding the standards so that we make our companies more competitive, uh, both locally and regionally. That way we're going to be able then to export more goods and services to, to the region, but then also be able to comply with the requirements of the oil and gas sector here, which requires absolute compliance to standards. To facilitate the formulation of these standards, the African Management Institute is playing a crucial role in delivering practical and accessible learning skills as well as development solutions. The two draft standards having been completed are now in the process of seeking approval and publication by the Uganda National Bureau of Standards and once approved, these standards will serve as an essential benchmark for service providers, enabling them to address and overcome prevailing supply chain limitations in specialized sectors plan to develop 10. We started with the first two. These are the two that we're training people on. So we developed the standards uh, as, as the technical working groups and then we are, were able to officially submit them to UNBS which is supposed to certify them. So currently we're waiting for UNBS to actually fully certify them. They've accepted them because they were part of our technical working group. But in addition to now doing the standard, we decided that the private sector must know about this standard because usually standards are done, they're on paper and then people don't know about them. They're not trained in how to comply with them. Therefore they don't do it. So we have a standard on one place then you have the private sector doing their thing on the other side. So we decided to merge the two. We do the standard plus train the private sector on it. So that's what we've done. This is the first cohort of people that we are training uh, on these uh, two standards and we will be doing more cohorts. This first cohort is uh, 200 uh, people. So when we, 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 we put the advert out, a thousand, more than a thousand people actually applied, but we had to shortlist to two. Then sometimes there are just no standards to begin with. That you, There's no reg government standard for you to, regu to, to, to comply with. So what do you comply with? So that's why you, you see we took a two-pronged approach, which is work with UNBS to develop this standard so that it is there, so that made the private sector knows what standards must I comply with. Because we're always talking about standards and standards, but if it's not there, what am I supposed to comply with? And yet everyone is telling me I, I'm below standard, but what is the standard? So the fact that there was no standard was an issue, so that's which is one, one, one of the gap that we, up, we, we took. Then the second gap is people do not know how to comply with the standard. So that's the second gap we're dealing with. We're training them on how to comply with the standard. Damali Sali, the program's director at PSFU, underscores that Growth Partners Program not only enhances business development services, but also positions Ugandan businesses to compete for a share of over 20 billion US dollars in the oil and gas sector.
The obtained certification acts as a crucial credential proving the competence of BDS providers and making them formidable players in the lucrative market. It's going to put over $20 billion in the economy. So those, those billions of dollars are going to catalyze the whole economy, actually. So if you're, I've seen Volcano Coffee here. So if you're Volcano Coffee and you're producing coffee locally, Ugandan coffee, I know there's going to be a higher demand for coffee consumption because these guys are going to need coffee in the Albertine area. And generally, even the expats, the expatriates who are going to flock Kampala are going to need more coffee. So you, as Volcano Coffee, if you get this certificate, you can show it because... Anyone who supplies in the oil and gas sector has to meet the standards. We say that local content, the law says certain sectors like agribusiness, logistics, you know, they're listed, have to be supplied by local suppliers, i.e. Ugandans, Ugandans. But to be able to supply, you have to meet a certain standard. This certification allows you to prove that I meet that particular standard. That's how it's going to catalyze, that's how this certificate is going to help these companies to be able to tap into that sector in any area that they are in.